Welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. Today's video, I'm applying primer to new drywall. Now, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's a few things I'd like to mention. But as you can see, I'm just using a nine and a half inch uh, long roller sleeve. And it's 10 millimeters wide, so just your average thickness of a roller sleeve. I find that that 10 millimeter is just right for these types of applications. Now, when you're dealing with new drywall, there is the dust that you have to be aware of. And um, after the last sanding, there's always um, dust left on the, the joints and on the screw heads that are filled. Uh, there's not a lot usually, but it's worthwhile to just do a dusting, even taking like a broom and just sweeping the, the surface. For here though, uh, because um, there wasn't any furniture or anything in my way, I just blew it off the wall with my little, um, I have this little tool that that will um, blow sawdust off wood or drywall dust off, off the surface. It does create a lot of dust though, so you wouldn't want to do it in your house, but um, like if you have your furniture and flooring and you know, all your electronics around because it would just get on everything. Um, because, but this room was empty, so I didn't have to worry about that. Uh, but say in a house, I sometimes, if there's repairs, I'll take a rag or, um, a damp sponge and just get the, the surface as clean as I can. I mean, even after you do that, if you sweep it or wipe it off with a damp rag, um, and you run your finger across, you know, there can be a minimal amount of dust, but that doesn't seem to have any effect on the primer adhering to the surface. However, um, with, with freshly uh, sanded drywall like, like this, I, I definitely made sure to, to have the majority of the dust off of the joints and off of the surface before rolling. Um, Another thing, I, I have a long painting pole for this here. I have multiple painting poles, but this one is uh, great. It extends out quite far. Um, I believe to the peak here is about 12 feet. So I was able to roll right up to the, to, to the peak. Don't know if you can hear the, the rain falling on the roof here, but it's, it's really starting to rain here in Canada. All the snow is going away. Um, I do like to put on a nice evenly distributed coat over, over the new drywall. Um, sometimes people ask if it's necessary to put two coats because they can faintly see the drywall behind the primer when they're finished. And if you are concerned that you maybe didn't get enough on, then a second coat it won't hurt. It, it definitely won't hurt anything. It will help to conceal the previous um, drywall compound. But even here, I can see faintly after it's done and dry, see faintly where the joints are, um, which is normal. Everything's sealed up. And um, at this job in particular, I, I just put one coat of primer on and two coats of the wall paint and everything covered very nice. I wouldn't put one coat of the top coat. I definitely like to put two, but as long as you put it on nice and evenly distributed, like I'm doing here, uh, it should be fine. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. Um, so for this, I, I rolled the wall first and I just get the, the roller sleeve tied up in the corner. As you can see, the ceilings primed as well. So, um, after I'm ro I have it rolled, there's only about a half inch or give or take half inch to an inch, uh, on both sides of the corner. Um, and then I just take my, my one paintbrush after and, and just kind of go around the perimeter to make sure that's all covered with primer, but that doesn't take very long. And, um, I like to get the, the paint rolled. So then I know exactly I can put a minimal amount, um, into the corner as opposed to doing it first and putting a lot when really the roller was able to take care of most of that surface. So yeah, I typically will do that second. 
Um, the speed, I do it a little bit quicker, not crazy because, you know, you don't want splatter all over the place anyway. And when you are painting, you want it evenly distributed. So, you know, with something like this, I don't have floor or trim or furniture around or anything to worry about. So I can go a little bit quicker, but still within reason, you don't want to be just really whipping it on there because I think, um, it wouldn't give you a nice evenly distributed coat. You don't want high points or you also don't want, um, ridges from the edge of the roller. So you can go a little bit faster in these scenarios where you don't have anything to worry about floor or furniture or trim. Uh, but still you, you want to be, uh, you don't want to be racing through it either because then it can make still a, a bad finished product on the surface. Now, another thing I would mention is you want to get a good primer. Um, you definitely don't want to just do the two in one when it comes to new drywall, especially, but um, sometimes they advertise um, the paint and primer in one and they say that it's um, sufficient to go over new drywall wood. I, I would never do that. I don't find that it really works that great for concealing the, the joints and the, the compound on the wall. I definitely st strongly suggest you get a separate primer. Now, like I said, one coat, if you put it on too thin or you're concerned, you I may have to put a second coat, which would be just a bit more cost as far as the primer. Primer typically isn't that expensive. It's maybe um, two thirds the paint, uh, the cost of the actual paint. So, um, but like I said, only if you are concerned about it, you'll most likely be fine unless you put it on really thin. If you have a nice, evenly distributed, good covered coat, then, uh, then you should be fine. But yeah, don't do the two in one because you will still see the joints through the paint. Like it'll cover and everything. And yeah, maybe two coats and yeah, you're done. But certain times a day or, you know, if the light's coming in different ways, you'll probably see the joints through the paint. And that's never really good. This, the whole idea is you want this all concealed. The other thing too, the the primer acts as a, a sealer. So, um, you'll lose, you'll use less of the, your top coat. So it'll save you a bit of money in the long run anyway. So yeah, that's how I prime a uh, new drywall. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. And, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I try to get back to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.